सो वी मैनेज पेरीमीटर सिक्योरिटी पेरीमीटर डिफेंस इन डेप्थ मीन्स मल्टी लेयर ओके सो डिफेंस इन डेप्थ मीन्स वॉट मल्टी लेयर सिक्योरिटी सो फर्स्ट पेरीमीटर सिक्योरिटी देन वी विल मैनेज नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी देन वी मैनेज एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी देन वील मैनेज होस्ट सिक्योरिटी एंड होस्ट देन वी लास्ट मैनेज द डेटा सिक्योरिटी ओके नाउ वाट वाट कॉम्पोनेंट्स विल कम इन पेरीमीटर सिक्योरिटी वाट कॉम्पोनेंट्स कम्स इन पेरीमीटर सिक्योरिटी इन पेरीमीटर वाट आल थिंग्स यू मैनेज cost present cost okay my friends thank you what comes in perimeter security so we'll get firewall ips ids vpn triple a all comes in perimeter security same when network security will have router and switches router and switches you will get what else application security you will get uh, like web security email security mobile security cloud security all comes in application host security you know what what is host security host security is basically uh, your uh, windows firewall anti malware anti virus anti malware like that data security is basically you are having like uh, hard disk uh, <coughs> hard disk uh, encryption You can encrypt the whole hard disk. So security infrastructure, if you see, we have multiple layers of security is there. So first layer, in defense in depth means what? Defense in depth means multi-layer security. First is network uh, perimeter. Perimeter is the entry point. Then network. Then application. Then host. Then data like that. So we have multiple layers to protect our data. Even finally, that your hard, your laptop, you are securing with Windows Firewall antivirus. Even though if they hack the laptop and get the data, data is encrypted. This is the different levels of security: perimeter security, network security, application security, host security. This is called infrastructure. Next, operations. So what is the what is the um, operations? What all things will do? Security operations. Today we studied. So what are the two? Uh, what are the things we do in security operations? Our our course is SOC, right? Security Operations Center, right? So what we do in Security Operations Center? What is our uh, activity, day-to-day -day activity? Security Operations Center. security operation center there are important if you see siem yesterday we studied siem security information event management we are going to study that then yes i got an answer from shreya incident response disaster management very good okay let me write down incident very good incident detection incident or disaster disaster also you can say add if you want though we don't study disaster in our class but still disaster also part of the soc team incident detection if incident happened first you have to detect it na then you have to response for the incident then you need to report this what happened why this incident happened all this is reporting this is your operations job so how do i prevent from the attacks How do I prevent 
but what I will do to prevent from the attacks as a security management what I will do to prevent from the attacks now you're working as a organization you want to prevent from nobody to attack your company so what all things you do are to prevent from the attacks very good let's be correct answer Fida correct answer Abhijit correct answer very good I'm getting very good answers four people has given the answer the answer is VA and PT VA is finding the vulnerability finding the vulnerability as a security weaknesses PT is penetrating and seeing that <coughs> how many <coughs> sorry how many how many vulnerabilities uh, I can penetrate I can go inside the network that is why PT so what is compliance and validation compliance is basically laws regulations standards you know laws, governance track if you remember laws regulations standards now how do I how do I make sure that my company is compliance with this laws regulations and standards how do I make sure that what I will do to make sure that my company is properly regulated so first thing I'll tell you step number one is baselines I'll create baselines and step number two I'll create a company policy step number three I'll see that everybody is following this policy or not audit step number four I will make sure that everybody is standard is compliance so this is the flow so whenever you want to protect any company first thing what you have to do you have to make sure that there is a baseline for the company organization baselines based on the basis you create a policy audit that see that there everybody is following the policy then you know that your company is under the standard what our standard you want to verify the standard is compliance so then you can go and get certified for this standard like example ISO standard ISO is a security standard so if your company is ISO 27k certified company then you will get lot of customer global customer projects otherwise they will not give the project so these are the four aspects of security management so whoever don't know you can ask just don't make a note on this next let's start so next topic is uh, yeah SOC capabilities tell me what are the SOC capabilities we have four we need to note down I told you yesterday four one by one you can tell if you are running a SOC in the organization what is the expectations like what all the things has to be SOC has to handle if these all the things are not there then there's no there's no use of having a SOC in your company organization okay so what are the four things you need to handle for uh, SOC okay I got one answer from Lakshmi Lakshmi correct answer what about others oh, Ajman also gave one answer very good very good let me give first first ghost first step is you understand here first is situational situational awareness deliverance it's very important see the point here is the point here is situational awareness deliverance means the point here is whenever you have a any issue right you need to be able to solve the issue according to the situation so you must have a something called a uh, security intelligence security intelligence in your organization meaning there must be a group the group has to clearly know that okay these guys are telling you what is situation they are aware of the new situation they are ready with the solution they always say okay see there is a new situation is creating now worldwide there is a new virus is coming you please go with this so they will keep on telling you for example Cisco is having an organization called the Talos if you go and check Talos no? what Talos will do is Talos will collect all the advanced uh, attacks all these things they will share with you 
so like that this is called situational awareness now what is happening in the world right talos will kind of for example i'll show you that see now if i go to cisco talos talos intelligence <coughs> this is a group in this group no they will keep on collecting all the informations and they will send you all the details worldwide this is one important imp uh, like if you are having cisco products cisco has its own situational awareness group intelligence group they will collect and give you all the details to your security devices this is your talos next second threat control and prevention okay third is any threat is happening you have to control the threat you want to prevent from the threat like vapt i told no prevention is vapt vapt and you have a good infrastructure to control the threat avoid the threat then forensics what is forensics uh, forensics if any attack happens you must have this uh, you must have a uh, capacity to see that who attacked your company so finding um, finding digital evidence for cyber crimes to submit in legal proceedings so you give the legal, in the in the court no in the court you have to give this uh, evidence based on your evidence they will put the attacker to jail so that that capacity you must have rather than no use in sock next is finally when they are doing this compliance and uh, audit uh, validation part no that time you must able to support them the auditor will come external auditor will come he will ask us to do some job some 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 tool to run some result some report he will ask so there that time you must able to support them as a sock you don't do this audit but you must support the team to do the audit right like uh, filling the template filling the template or what you say hmm filling the template or uh, hmm. or you can say like uh, running tools uh, doing test uh, or interviews or tools uh, all these things you can support for auditing purpose in the sock team they will take one or two people for auditing because they need some internal help so they always take some team so you must have that people who can support for the audits this is the capability you are looking for next is we will think about like next topic is what are the components sock components tell me what are three sock components we discussed yesterday when you go for sock what are the three components we discussed yesterday see when you are working in a sock right it's not just like that anybody you can put anywhere anybody you need a specialized people special trained people okay they are like ciso who is the chief information security officer sock manager one manager then you must have somebody called l1 sock or l2 sock analyst the incident responder under then sme subject matter experts so like that we will have a special team subject matter expert like that so these are the people you need next is process what are the different types of processes we look at looking for we discuss about process yesterday what are different types of process we have company means there are so many processes there what are the processes yes very good i got an answer from ajmal technology what all the techno Pro let us finish process first let me write down the process then i'll go to technology first is business processes see 
<coughs> to run a company, there are so many business processes are there. Like for example, you need to create a report, you need to submit a report. That is all business processes. Then technology processes, like how do you how do you do vulnerability scanning? How do you do uh, update on any any software update? All these things are technology processes. Then we have day-to-day -day operations, operational processes, like uh, how do you do the shift? Uh, how the employees are getting trained? Uh, all these things. Finally, how do you analyze also? Analytical process. Analytical process basically, how do you analyze the, for example, you are going to do forensic investigation or you are going to do any ticketing, escalation, how do you detect the, classify the incident, how do you detect the incident, all of you analytical way of doing it. There is a process for that. In When you are working in a company, you must follow the processes. You can't say that, I don't, I do myself, I don't, I, I do like, however I like to, it's not possible. In a company, when you are working in a SOC, you must follow all these processes. Okay, otherwise you are not eligible for you are not eligible for working in SOC. So it's very important. You have to learn. The, more, the moment you join in the company, you know, they will keep on teaching you. You do like step by step how to do it. All these they'll teach you. They'll give training on those processes. Next, what are the technologies? Technologies used in the like we have to study. If you are working in SOC, if you are working in a SOC team, what are the technologies you must know? You must study. Without this technology, you cannot uh, do the work in a SOC team, SOC environment. The technologies are, yeah, Lakshmi gave an answer, Sneha gave an answer. Very good. Anybody else? I got two answers. One is SAEM. This is the tool which we collect all the information from multiple devices and document and you collaborate and give report. Security Incident Event Management. What it does, it collects logs from all the devices and give you a report saying that there is an attack. There is like that, it will give a report. It will alert you. It will give alarms. This is an important tool. The tools are, what we are going to study is Splunk. We in our class, Splunk, in our labs we are going to study Splunk and Elk. Okay, these are the two tools we will study and one more tool is the OSSM, we will see later that. These are the tools. Okay, then we need to study how do you monitor this day-to-day -day activities. Monitoring tools, you have to learn. There are small, small monitoring tools are there like, uh, like uh, you can take uh, Splunk itself, it's a monitoring and monitor also. Or uh, so many other tools are there which help us to monitor the environment. Like, uh, <clears throat> uh, what do you call this, uh, IBM has a tool called, a uh, yeah, software called uh, IBM Trivoli. Like HP Open View, so many monitoring tools are there, which will capture and show you what is happening in the organization. Like one link is up, link is down, that all you can see that monitoring the existing environment. Then ticketing software is very very important. How the how the problems will come is it comes in the form of ticket. So everybody will assign one ticket. You have to solve the ticket. The ticketing software you have to learn. Okay, then a uh, video wall, video wall, or some places they just have a small uh, LED, we call it as dashboard. So dashboard, what is dashboard? Dashboard is nothing but what is happening. The important messages will keep on popping in that. Real-time uh, messages keep on popping. Finally, we have automated tools. Nowadays, we all our automations are there. Automated assessment tools, VAPD. Assessment tools. Okay, so basically they are all VAPD tools. Okay. These tools you need to study. All these things you have to follow. This is the mainly three things you need to know if you are working in SOC. Okay, let's go to next. Mm. Okay, I think everyone knows this. Let me start one topic. Okay, I'll ask an easy question now. What are the two types of uh, SOC, SOC models are there? SOC model types. Two types of uh, SOC. Two, three, three types. Uh, three types we'll see. They are in house. Outsourcing 
nowadays we use hybrid hybrid is some will keep it some will give outsource hybrid both next what are the four steps in SOC implementation if you want to implement a SOC in my organization what are the four steps <coughs> one two three four What are the four steps? Sir? First, planning. Second, designing. And building the sock. Third, operating the sock. Fourth, reviewing and reporting the SOC. Okay, this is the four steps. Okay, when you have to build, it's not just like that you cannot start any any operate SOC team. Okay, you have to proper planning. You have to build because you need all these uh, people, process, and uh, technology to be there. Uh, without this people, process, technology, you cannot run a SOC team. It's not just like that. It's not a one-man show. It's just a proper planning has to be done. But to build the SOC team with all the softwares and the computers and everything, then you have to operate it and see that it's properly working or not. It's a long-term process implementing SOC. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Let's go to now. Uh, next to module, module two. Let me start. Okay, let me ask you one more question, then we'll go to module two. One more question is: What is the difference between sock versus knock? Yeah, you can answer this. Last question in module one. Let me start module one. So module two. Yesterday, we studied. Uh, Yesterday we studied uh, module two. We did one lab also. Okay, let's start that. Okay, what difference between what is the difference between uh, sock and knock? Knock is ensures ensures what is SOC will do what is knock this is a question the answer is knock will ensure that you have a uninterrupted services nothing stops that's it uninterrupted that's it this is knock a job what SOC will do is <coughs> SOC ensures not only uninterrupted services, they ensures the security. Ensure security of not only network, okay? Security of security of network web. Websites, applications, and the database, database, then servers like that. So many things we take care. This is SOC. SOC is not worry about the interpreter of underpin side. That is not a job. Eh? What SOC will do is SOC will actually see that security is there for all these network websites, applications, web servers, database, everything security is there. That is the SOC a job. SOC's response. Now let's go to next. Next topic is what is the formula for what is the formula for uh, attack? Yesterday we did no attack. Attack has a formula. What are they? Attack formula.
what is the attack formula we studied this attack formula okay attack formula is motive plus very good i got your answer from shriya motive plus vulnerability ability and <coughs> method now see method has three things what are they etp tactics techniques and tactics means process techniques means tools and softwares procedure is step by step instruction yesterday we did one lab no step by step how to do it that is the procedure so now same thing there is another way of telling this there is another way of telling this is intent plus capability plus opportunity this is another way of telling the same thing so now i have a intent means motive i have a capability capability is ttp opportunity is vulnerability see if you like don't like this ttp opportunity that is vulnerability weakness so vulnerability is opportunity then uh, intent is motive like that then now what are the different types of threats we have like uh, you can call this as cyber sick security attack vectors so how the attack can happen what are the different ways the attack can happen so i'll write down just note down this cloud virus you know virus no through virus they can attack you through cloud we can and what is cloud computing is very famous through cloud also they can attack the attacker can attack you through virus and worms they can attack you is something called ransomware ransomware means they ask money ransom is money asking money they can attack you and uh, mobile nowadays through mobile they can attack you a different ways how can you account attack botnet is basically a group of uh, group of zombies group of zombie means uh, people will like all compromised machines they can do ddos attack distribution ddos attack at a time multiple can attack you from inside your company people can attack you see now there is insider who is inside your company he can attack you from phishing attack phishing attack means fake e fake email fake email he can send and he can he can just attack you through email he can attack the people and web application he can attack you then iot also nobody is iot famous iot also internet of internet of things nowadays everything is connecting to iot internet no through that in iot concepts they can attack you. different ways we can attack a <coughs> organization okay what is the what do you think about the motives let us see up some motives intent motive think like now you think like you are a you are a attacker okay you are a attacker you are actually planning for attack what you all what all the motives you can think of like what all the motives you can think of why why you will attack think like a uh, attacker no <clears throat> you play the attacker role and tell me why you can attack on anybody like you are going to attack somebody why, what will be the motives you have <clears throat> yes omkar want to take revenge yes very good abhijit is saying money very good anything else just for fun okay very good mm. just for fun thrill thrill will say thrill basis thrill thrill for thrill and fun mm. okay let me write down 
so everybody else ajmal is saying for data okay so first disturb i want to disturb you disrupting the business damaging your business i am a competitor i want to damage your business i will attack i want to gather some information information theft i want to steal your information then i just want to create fear create fear and chaos confusion i'll attack you then financial loss for money purpose then taking revenge so all are the some intent see whenever any crime is happening the police will first ask you what did you find the motive why this crime happened somebody kill someone why they kill someone right why they kill someone just like that nobody will kill anyone no why why what is the reason for thrill some psychos are there for thrill and fun they will do killing all these things crimes okay they are enjoying that the psycho people psycho uh, serial killer they say no like that these are different motives the next is what is your tactics tactics means you know ttp right in ttp tactics is nothing but strategy how to perform your attack from beginning to the end so you you make a strategy you, you plan it out so how you are going to attack end to beginning to end so uh what do you say um process to perform the attack from beginning to end this is called what tactics okay so how i am going to do the attack next is what is techniques 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 means what in ttp this is basically we am discuss about ttp okay techniques means technique means uh, basically what you call is um, uh methods of you know how it is happening like tools uh, or you can say like um, commands uh, you know control channels how you are going to plan this infrastructure what infrastructure you are going to use for attack like this these all are techniques to all this next question is this one procedure procedure is very very important in hacking if i want to do any hacking a hacker is doing if i am a hacker if i play a role of hacker i need to make sure that what is the organizational approach there is must be an approach we see my class my class has a approach i teach one hour class i'll teach then i one hour lab i'll keep some approach i keep organizational approach same way attacker also follows this approach followed by the threat vectors threat actors we say threat actors these all are the approach follow okay now exam third question what are the different types of threat actors we have now you know hackers right it's not actually there's no hackers actually we call threat actors so what are different types of threat actors we have you know different types of attackers what are the name of the attackers the different types of attackers are there no you know you heard about this uh, like uh, black hat white hat you know that so what are different types of attackers are there you know what is black hat white hat be right on black hat white hat gray hat there is something called script kiddies and we have something called state sponsored i'll tell you what is these things okay there are so many is there i'm stopping here so black hat is basically a criminal he is a criminal white hat is our sock we you all we are all white hat we are all sock analyst we are come under white hat 
so he is not a crazy good guy grey hat is play both black and white so morning he will be white hat night will be black hat like that black and white he is called a grey hat script this is knows knows some scripting language scripting skills and tools that's it he don't know anything else but using that he will start playing so basically this black hats will use script kitties to do their attacks to build the weaponization to build the weaponization this black hats will use the script kitties next is for state sponsor state sponsors are like your uh, military people military intelligence intelligence uh, group like uh, you know um, in india you have something called ra research and analysis wing ra okay then we have something called ntro these people know they will actually do the hacking for understanding opposite country what they are doing okay now what are the different types of attacks we have studied yesterday i talk about different types of attack what are the different types of attacks we studied types of attacks they are yesterday we did an attack right that comes under what type i told you yesterday we did an attack it comes under what type very good yesterday we studied no that's application attack in that we did one attack that is sql injection today we are going to do cross site scripting attack these two attacks we are going to do same way we have other attacks also like network attacks network attacks we have um, let me check that so we have um, is an attack network attack host attacks host level attacks are there host attacks okay so network attacks we'll discuss we'll discuss on this today we'll discuss on the host attack the last question what is ioc what is ioc the last question now we'll start the labs after this what is ioc yesterday we studied this very good i got answer from sohan the answer is indicator of indicator of compromise that's not on that point ioc means indicator of compromise so what is the indicators yesterday we discuss about so we will be learning this more indicator of compromise in uh, next modules as of now we are today we are going to not going to worry about the indicator of what are the indicators to find out this is attack is happened or not but important topic is indicator of compromise is there so we'll study this also in the future classes now next we are going to study okay let's start okay let's today we'll do one lab one attack so today we are going to study first we'll start with the cross site scripting attack okay what is this i'll tell you
yesterday we discussed about security components sec web web infrastructure components okay web infrastructure components can anybody tell me what are the components we i wrote yesterday i wrote 10 components let's see anybody can tell that yesterday we discussed about web infrastructure components 10 components i told you what are they anybody you remember this diagram so now today we are going to learn something called cross site scripting attack so what is this cross site scripting attack i am going to tell you so before that just i'll tell you the revise this components so whenever you want to going to attack web attacks web application attacks so it comes under application attacks so we are going to attack web server web application server or database yesterday we directly attack a database using sql injection today i'm going to attack the web server and web application server how i'm going to attack is i'm going to inject a malicious a malicious code inside the web server okay then i will whoever is logging to that web server they will be infected so this is my technique this technique is called cross site scripting attack let me write down that for cross site attack so what is that basically it's a very simple concept so what happens is hmm, attacker send a scripted injected link to you you will click that link website will open downloads all the information from this website no he will send all the information to you see this diagram this is a nice diagram hmm. i'll copy this and put it wait see this diagram hmm. so attacker injects trusted website with malicious script okay then victim will log in he will go to the script uh, website generally you are going to facebook.com your banking website any website you are going no you are visiting the web trusted website what will happen because the attacker has already injected the malicious script in this uh, website this at the victim will be infected so the once once the whipping started browsing this because there is a malware inside this website now this malware will start sharing all the victim information to a, a hacker okay this is called a cross site scripting attack all are clear we'll start the lab now just give y and d if any questions you can ask me so what we attacker is going to do is he is going to inject a malicious script in the website so next whoever is logging to the website they will be infected with that and they will start sending all the details to the hacker and hacker will use the details and he will log into the website he will log into with the victims uh, login he can draw send money receive money whatever you want he can do it okay if this is clear just give y and d then i i will start the lab then we'll come back and do next uh, if this is finished we'll go next So basically done. Chris done. Basil done. Chris done. What about others? Just take a screenshot. We'll start the lab. <coughs> Vida done. Abhijit done. Lakshmi done. Okay. So now, now let's start. Now let me go to. excel sheet attendance let me finish first hmm. so just give your number in the chat window i'll put present present 17 present 1 present 910 present अब्रारेंट 
अजमल प्रसूज अक्षय अक्षय स्नातर अंजिता प्रसूज सचिन सिलाईकर अनवर अनवर इस नातर ओके ओके पिता इस परसेंट क्रिस इस परसेंट विकास इस परसेंट गोविंद इस शाशमन Amal is not there. Vishnu is present, right? Ah, Vishnu is present. Jonathan is not there. Jonathan, Janetta is not there. Diljit is not there. Raja Lakshmi? Ah, present. I think one, two, three. Yeah. So anything you have missed it, I did anything. Let me know. Okay. Let's start. Anwar is present. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Anwar. Hmm. Okay. No problem. Anybody else name is not there or wrong? You presented. I put absent. Let me know. Okay. Let's start. So I will start with Sudhis. Sudhis, you have the lab ready. Can we do the lab? Can we start the lab? Okay, share your screen. So today we are going to study. Yesterday, yesterday we did lab, SQL injection lab. Today we are going to study lab three. First, we will just study <coughs> cross-site scripting lab. Okay, this is the lab we are going to do now. Cross-site scripting lab. Okay. Now yesterday, Adira. You have finished. Uh, Okay, let's start. Now, okay, <coughs> process scripting. Uh, maximize this. Uh, this. Uh, yeah, very good. Now, exercise two: cross site scripting or XSS or CSS attack. Exploit the vulnerability in the dynamic generated web pages. 
this enables malicious attacker to inject client side script into web pages viewed by other viewers a sock analyst understand the access, understanding xss attack can help you to identify the ioc's of xss attack on your organization website for example tomorrow you are working as a sock analyst you want to know if this attack now what we are going to do lab this will help you in the future models when you are working as a sock analyst how do you detect these attacks let's do the attack now in this module but next modules we will use the same attack and we see that how i will detect these attacks that is the that is the goal of the this lab now attacker takes the advantage of this improper data validation i told you yesterday also whenever there is a data validation is not properly done but data is not properly checked and uh, filtered then this is the vulnerability they have this is the advantage they taking and injecting this javascript html flash or any other types of executable code in the browser any such attempt could be sign of xss attacks so anything you do you inject anything like javascript or html or flash or anything that we call it as a <coughs> cross site scripting attack in this lab you will learn example you will learn example of how to attacker can initiate xss attack on the target website and how the generated ioc will help you detect xss attack attempts in the later modules of this course yeah next first let's launch the now we are in kali now let's go to windows version 12 always i'll tell you there are three things you have to remember which is the attacker machine which is the victim machine right then who who is going to do this activity like now now i'm in which role now now we are going to windows 12 machine i don't know who is windows 12 now let's open the windows 12 control alt delete administrator yes hmm now see windows 12 is my uh my my victim victim machine okay kali is my attacker machine let's go to kali yeah just uh, left side click space bar click the mouse space bar tour t o o r okay now that's it this is the last lab we did you can close that uh, screen let's okay let's see what is telling four day four done five done six done seven seven also same thing this is asking you to go to the firefox only yeah let it be we already done this seven also done that now uh, launch firefox and uh, browse website and uh, okay done now go to click on the contact page to check the contact page is vulnerable to execution attacks attacker will try to inject a javascript okay you are going to inject a javascript code uh, into the input fields of the contact page to demonstrate this this uh, valid uh, email address in the okay type any you type your email id any valid email id your email id you can type so gmail.com or something okay then uh, uh, just click that in the comment one click then come back and click in the this side click inside the comment one time ah now you click that script now the script is pasted there mm -hmm. it is not pasting now you have to type manually script space alert parenthesis open double quotes you are hacked you are hacked this is a script we are writing and we are injecting the script inside the website okay double quotes end parenthesis end semicolon yeah script run slash and script yeah end save the comment
now this comment is injected inside the website <coughs> you are hacked very good a pop up appears on the page displaying message you are hacked click ok this indicates the XSS attack is successfully attempted in this way the attacker can inject malicious script in that and perform the XSS attacks on the target site attacker can can use this technique to perform session hijacking and phishing session hijacking means in between you will be there you can hijack the session phishing means for a fake email all these things you can use this method any occurrence of such any occurrence of such attempts in web server can treat as a ioc of xss attack see the intention of this this whole uh, this module 2 is to just teach you all the attacks but in module 3 module 4 we will do the same thing again and will find the ioc is using siem tools okay as a sock analyst so that is our point here explaining here so detail sheet is available in that okay fine let's close all the windows then we'll go to next lab okay everybody start this lab whoever is completed just put uh, uh, d in the lab uh, lab 3 done like that okay fine close all the windows you have finished it let's go and finish everybody finish this lab then we'll go to next lab just wait um uh, stop sharing uh, so this let everyone do this lab so whoever is doing let them do it once you finish just give me d whoever is starting the lab let me know whoever is starting the lab just put share uh, starting the lab like let me know so i i know that you people are doing i'll wait for you so if nobody is doing i'll start the next the next lab whoever is starting the lab let me know okay fida is completed if fida is starting now very good fida so lab 2 done diljit ah diljit is there very good got it diljit is present okay very good so whoever is doing the lab let me know you are doing the lab according to me only fida is doing the lab anybody else is doing let me know okay Sohan has done. What lab Sohan you have completed? Lab two, lab three. Which one you have completed, Sohan? Both. Okay. Sohan done. Okay. Let's we start it. anybody else completed lab 2 lab 2 completed lab 2 done lab 1 lab Still done. Krishna done.
conhecer. Lap 2. Krishna started at lap 3. Okay. <coughs> Krishna is doing lap 3. Shreya are done. Shreya, you are done lap 3 also, right? Lap 2, lap 3, both, no? Yeah. Abrar what? Both laps, huh? Or lap two? One and two. Okay. One and two done, na? Huh? Okay, fine. So three, you do it. Sneha completed. Two and three. Sneha. Abra three done. Okay, Abra, thank you. Basil also three done. Basil. Scan, see, scan, and scan, scan. Okay, I have to teach you theory for this. And put force attack. Then I shall go. Because of Kumar. One, two, done. Huh? Okay. See the Okay. Krishna done. Chris Krishna done. 
crucial, cruz, 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 crucial. Okay. Krishna done. Lakshmi done. Okay, I think everyone done. Rajit Done Done Okay, Rajit Okay, so anybody else is doing the lab? Shall we go to next uh, next one? Just give Y, Y and D, I'll go to next lab. Still anybody is doing, let me know. I'll wait for them. Otherwise, we'll go to next lab. Next lab, I'll teach you the theory, then we'll start the lab. Next lab is something like network scanning lab. So for that, I need to teach a theory first, then we'll start the lab. Okay, so Lakshmi done, Anwar done. You can start the lab, right? What about others? Can we go for next lab? Just give the Y and D, clear and done. Sneha done. Okay, so let's uh, go to next. If anybody any doubts, let me stop and ask me. I'll clear it. Chris, so Chris also done. So now we are going to study network scan lab. Okay, let me tell you first, show you the lab, then we'll discuss on that. Now, this lab is basically network level threats, understanding the working of network scanning lab, scanning attacks. Okay, to understand the scanning attacks, first we need to know the um, web. I told you yesterday also, uh, I told you like there is a EC Council attack methodology. We'll discuss this again and again in the whole class. Okay. Whole course we'll discuss. So, this methodology has four phases. Let me write down. High level, I can say four phases. This four phases is divided into again 10, ten phases or 10 steps. We'll see that. First four phases is information gathering, system hacking or gaining access second is uh, this third is uh, maintaining access fourth is <coughs> maintaining access then fourth is uh, covering tracks That's it. Now, information gathering, there are four phases are there. Can anybody tell me now? What is the first one? Anybody in the chat window? 
the goal of information gathering is finding the vulnerability vulnerability hmm. very good sneha correct answer footprinting footprinting is basically we call it as passive passive recognizes meaning no no collect information with no direct direct interaction interaction with victim okay next is what next phase is what the goal for this phase every every phase has a goal the goal is to see the security posture and attack which attack i will do we attack surface i'll focus which attack surface or vector vector means where where i'll go to attack there are multiple ways we can attack no that i'm going to focus so understand here what is footprinting if anybody ask you the footprinting means passive recognizance what is the goal of footprinting is to find the attack for security posture security posture means the guy the security of the victim is weak or strong find that we use this method this phase then we will see which attack surface i will focus so there are multiple ways you can attack somebody some victim so which which technique or which surface i will focus which vector i will focus i'm warning i just i showed you different vectors here if you remember these are the different vectors cloud virus ransomware mobile botnet insider and if I, which vector i will focus that is the goal of first information gathering first phase footprinting without direct interaction i'll come to know that next is scanning the scanning phase what is scanning so scanning means now goal understood method so how do i gather informations see every phase you need to understand what is this phase and what is the goal of this phase so when i will say okay okay this phase finished let's go to next phase when you'll go to next phase the goal third is third is how i will do the, how i get this information now how do i collect information about you without directly interacting with you for example i want to collect information about sneha anna anna jos how do i collect information about sneha anna jos without talking to her without interacting with her directly interacting with her how can i gather information about her how do i gather information about you without directly interacting with you think like a attacker you are playing attacker role now understood the question now you want to know about me so how do you gather information about me without directly talking to me just go to the internet just type my name enough that's it that's it you will get all the information about me my photo see the first is my photo i'll give you you get my linkedin my website you know my facebook so many things you'll get my wordpress website you know even my photo also available okay so this is called a footprinting ka method one method that is search engine just use the search engine second is social networks so many social networks are there you can verify from that then what methods like your website like that so many ways you can collect information now what is scanning asking friends ah yes you can ask friends also like that is called a um, asking friends is called social engineering okay so what is scanning phase scanning is active recognizance active recognizance means now i am going to gather information directly okay now direct interaction i am going to do with the victim 
system or network okay next what is the goal what i will achieve if i do what are the informations i'll gather see this all four are nothing but information gathering only if you understand this this all four phases are nothing but information gathering only right in the information gathering now we are going deep dive now so each phase i'm going to talk about what is that what is the what is the uh, goal of that phase and how do i achieve that how do i achieve these goals okay the, for example here i'm going to know active hosts then uh, ip address and uh, active or live host which are the hosts are what there in the network live host you come to know and ip address open ports okay then what open ports uh, services services os version like there so many information you can gather so these information is what i am gathering topology topology diagram these information is what i am going to gather these all are going to help me to go to next phase next phase is enumeration so what is enumeration phase enumeration means what what is that what is enumeration phase enumeration phase means now i am going to gather information collecting maximum information about yeah access information about a victim from inside the system or network inside the victims understand so i am going inside the house and i am collecting maximum information inside the victim system like if you want to if you want to example i always give an example like stealing food from your house right so first what i'll do like if you take this analogy stealing food from your house always follow this analogy okay stealing food from house right so what you'll do first step standing in the road and collecting information standing in the road and collecting information second is asking asking any job is available any job is open in house now you came to know one job is open plumbing job is there so going going inside the house going inside the house house as as uh, a service provider like pro like like uh, service provider like a uh, like a plumber plumber or uh, electrician like that now after that you going inside the house and collecting information maximum information collecting that is called a enumeration the goal is what a user names user names shared folders configuration details how they have configured maximum information you gather from inside the inside the system or house now last step the method is like you can use uh, net bios this is the protocols or services net bios dns uh, ftp mm, portals mm, dns ftp like that ah uh, snmp mm, how many so many protocols are there so which all services are running from there you gather the information 
next what is the last vulnerability analysis so what is vulnerability analysis vulnerability analysis means analysis means what is vulnerability analysis is finding finding common values vulnerability values and uh, what do you call vulnerability score score something like this so goal is goal is i want to create a weapon goal is weaponization so now i want to create a weapon for weaponization i need to know the right vulnerability and values on this and methods are there are so many vulnerabilities are there like cvw cve number cwe number and there is a scoring called cvss this is the vulnerable common vulnerability uh, score secure scoring method there are so many methods are there using these methods this numbers you will use it and build the weapon okay these are the four phases now i am going to talk about we are going to discuss about scanning methods so what is scanning is basically you know i told you it's accurate active recognition i'm going to gather information so i'm going to use the the goal is what to find the ip address all these things to teach you this scanning method you need to learn okay le let me write down the name first then we'll deep dive on that here we are going to use three methods let me write down all three all three i'll put it we'll discuss on this later these are the three methods they are going to follow now in our lab to understand this i'll teach you some theory let me write down this okay so these are the three methods you now we are going to learn for this only i taught you all these things okay so every every uh, what do you call every vulnerability okay this one we are going to discuss now you things changing everything got changed so consoles okay okay fine so now we are going to discuss on this parking lot so everybody note down this take a screenshot of this then we'll i will talk about the next one so next classes we'll be discussing on these things okay but as of now today we discuss about the this four let's take a screenshot of this ond then i'll go deep dive on the scanning methods how the how the scanning method will work out we are going to discuss on that so what is our goal of scanning phase understanding the live host open ports services versions and topology so make a note on this ond then we'll go to next <coughs> okay chris done basil done vida sudesh okay now we are going to discuss on the scanning methods i'm going to ask you a series of questions see you are able to answer that so then automatically you will understand the methods now i am in learning scanning let me put the heading the heading is scanning 
So what is scanning is scanning is the second phase or second step in information gathering. After footprinting, we do scanning. The goal of scanning is the goal of scanning is to find open ports. First question comes. First question comes. What is this port? What is this port? Uh, port number or port address? Okay, so we don't know that. What is port address? I don't know. First of all, how many, how many addresses we have? We have in a computer. Tell me. Do you know computer? We have lot of addresses in that. How many addresses we have in a computer? Answer the question. How many addresses we have in a computer? On the computer, we have on the computer. You know addresses? Did you ever call for any address in the computer? You have seen any address? IP config. You have seen any address in IP config command? IP config, IP config slash all. What are the addresses we have in the computer? We have three types of addresses. Let me write down port address, logical address, physical address. This uh, This logical address is again we have two subsites are there in that they are host address and mm, network address. Okay, so logical address is used for for routing. Physical address is used for used for what for switching. Port address is used for port address is used for uh, applications. Okay. Now we are going to see what are the port addresses are open in that. Victim machine. Now I'm going to see what are the port addresses are open in the victim machine. So how do I find out? So what is host address? Host address is uh, machine or NIC address or network interface card address. Area or branch address. That is network address. So if both are combined under uh, logical address. So what are the Logical addressing protocols are logical addressing protocols. Anybody know what are the logical addresses we are using in the computer? Protocols are IPv4, IPv6. Physical address, anybody knows what is the physical address we are using in the computer? That is called MAC address. Very good, FIDA correct answer, MAC address. Like that port address, you know, 80 means what? Port four three means what? The port numbers are port address. 20, 21 what? Like that, so I'll write down. 80 is for HTTP. HTTP, you know, right? Web browsing, HTTPS, 2021 is FTP, file transfer protocol. Like that, each application uses the protocol. Each protocol has a port number. Now, what I am going to do, I am think like this. I am an attacker. This is internet. This is my uh, 
victim machine okay this is my victim victim machine I am this is the attacker to internet okay now I want to know what are the ports are open in this victim machine in between I am going through internet and coming here so what I am going to do I am going to use use scanning scanning methods one, two, three, four. Four protocols I'll take. First is TCP, UDP, ICMP. You know ping, right? Ping. Ping uses ICMP. You know ping, right? Let me show you ping. Ping means like this. P A N G. You can ping. Eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So it is pinging. <coughs> so meaning what? Your L1, L2, L3, L4 layer layers are working fine. YSA model, physical layer, data link layer, network layer, application, sorry, task port layer, all are working fine. So this is your ping that uses ICMP. Then ARP. ARP is address resolution protocol. Resolution protocol. What it does is basically, if you give a IP address, it will find the MAC address. Your IP address, it will find the MAC address and give you what is the MAC address of this IP. It will give you this is the protocol specialty of this protocol ARP. So, TCP UDP is transport layer protocols, it will send and receive the data. TCP is with acknowledgement, with acknowledgement, UDP is without acknowledgement. Okay, okay, let me ask you a question. How many people have studied? How many people have studied uh, this uh, TCP three-way handshake? Anybody knows <coughs> TCP three-way handshake? Okay, OSA model. OSA model. What are the seven layers? Like uh, layer layer four is what? Layer four. Let me ask you a question in this OSA model. Let me write down here. Question. Mm. 15, 16, 17, done. OSA model you studied right 18th question did you all study OSA model yes or no OSA model you studied everyone you studied OSA model or not I taught you or not OSA model ok very good Basil, Basil said yes ok so transport layer Please revise that model today. So we have two days time. So today is what Wednesday now, hmm. Friday. Then you revise that model. So it will help you for next classes. Saturday, Sunday you can revise. So as of now, I'll help you on that. So this model, the OSA model, in that two protocols are there. And TCP UDP. TCP UDP main protocols. Now in this, uh, what is the, what is TCP three-way handshake? Let me see, I taught you or not. Otherwise, I'll teach you a bit. Three way handshake. Not cover that. Okay. Anybody know what is TCP three way handshake?
Yes or no? Sudhis, you know? Was it three-way handshake? Sudhis? Yes, no? So this you know three way handshake? No. Okay, fine. So I'll teach you that, no problem. So first of all you understand TCP is here connection oriented communication. We'll learn that, okay? What is connection oriented communication? It's a transport link protocol. What is connection oriented communication means before data transfer, session will be established. What is connection oriented? Before data transfer. Transfer session will be established. Okay, now what is reliable communication? TCP is a reliable communication protocol. Reliable, reliable communication protocol. What this protocol will do is basically for each data sent. session uh, acknowledgement is receives acknowledgement otherwise next data will not go receives acknowledgement ACK data will not go this is your TCP now we are going to learn something called TCP three-way handshake then I'll teach you this two what are the two uh, attempts we are going to do UDP is connectionless unreliable communication protocol <coughs> UDP is no connection required, just will send it. Connectionless and no acknowledgement, unreliable. Communication protocol. Okay. Okay, let's start by one by one. First, we start with the TCP three-way handshake. Now, TCP Yeah. Now, I'm going to talk about TCP three-way handshake. TCP three-way handshake. Now what will happen when a two PCs want to communicate to each other what TCP will first do is TCP will send one message called a SYN S -Y -N. okay it's called a flag it will send a flag called SYN flag means basically what is flag flag means represents represents type of type of communication like like in a war no some some horseman is coming with white flag what is the meaning what is the meaning of white flag somebody in the war no coming with white flag what is the meaning peace right that is the representation of that flag same way we are going to have six flags in tcp so each flag represents something like this sin flag act flag okay then we have uh, another flag called uh, push flag then uh, fin flag then we have something called uh, urgent flag reset flag the six flags are there whenever you see this flag is on in the TCP packet you will understand that boss this is something like this is something like your uh, what do you say hmm. this type of communication is doing before seeing the data by just seeing the flag on off on means one off means zero so by know that so sin means to start a session acknowledgement means receiving acknowledgement 
acronym is for send packet acknowledgement for sent data next is push data transfer now data is transferring from one location to another location one PC to another PC fin means to finish the session to finish the to finish the to finish the session Urgent is you know urgent it is very important first priority give priority and send it research is to re-login to re-login or like in, in sometimes what will happen paytm paytm will login you lost to re-login no restart you login or restart that is your it's reset 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 yeah this is called a re-login or reset session so whenever you see this flag you will understand what is this uh, data is coming for what purpose this data is coming like a uh, example I told you, you know, horse like that now first uh, what PC one will do is PC one will send a uh, generate one initial sequence number like six this is initial sequence number then it will put that number with the sin flag sin six now because this is here TCP is here the heading is TCP packet walk Okay, so TCP is basically a uh, reliable, what do you call, uh, reliable communication. It needs acknowledgement for this packet. PC1 will wait for the acknowledgement. To give acknowledgement, what it will do is, acknowledgement equal to sin plus 1. So now he will, PC2 will give acknowledgement. Now see, PC2 is giving you acknowledgement. The acknowledgement is uh, ACK. What is sin number 6? Six? 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, same time, this PC2 wants to get acknowledgement for his this packet. So, he will also generate an ISN and the IG, for example, 21. He will send that. So, sin 21. Who is sending? This guy. PC2 is sending for his acknowledgement. Now, again, PC1 will receive acknowledgement 7, so he understands my 6 is received. PC1 receives SYN 21, so now PC1 has to give acknowledgement to PC2. He will say, yes boss, take your acknowledgement. So what number, what number PC1 will put in the acknowledgement packet? What number he will put? Can you tell me, anybody? what number he will put back in the acknowledgement yes fida correct answer the answer is 22 fida correct answer sudhi's correct answer abhijit correct answer 22 then session session established opens established right these three steps are called tcp in interview they'll ask you in interview, this is a mandatory question, okay? They will ask you this question. What is TCP three-way handshake? They will ask you. You need to answer this like this, okay? First, the PC will send a SYN. Then, you will receive a SYNAC. Then, again, ACK. SYN, SYNAC, ACK. These three steps of civilization will establish. Now, after this, this PC will start sending the real data transfer. He will send the data transfer. And he will get the acknowledgement for that. Okay, now push hack push hack. Okay, this is the data transfer. Okay. Now, after this data transfer is completed, then again he will send here to finish the communication. He will send again and he will get acknowledgement for that. Then again he will send three steps. After that, session got 
closed. So what are the three steps? Uh, fin, fin means finish. Fin. Then he will give, okay, I also want to finish, you are, take your acknowledgement. Fin act. Then he say, okay, you also finish, finish act. The session got closed. This is the way TCP three-way hands TCP will work. Now what I am going to do as attacker, I am going to send this TCP sin first. See, the first method. I am actually teaching the theory of this lab. Understood? No. This first method is sin sin scan attempt. So I am going to then send the sin packet and see that SYNAC is coming. If the SYNAC is coming, see what I will do, I will send a SYN packet with the port number 80. With port number 80. Now the reply is coming, SYNAC is coming means port 80 is open. Now I will send the SYN, see UDP is then UDP will not be any acknowledgement, that's it. Send, a, that's it, no acknowledgement. If any reply is coming, understand port is closed. So let me explain you this, how it is. I'll give you some diagram for this, you'll understand. So let me show you some diagram, nice diagrams. So sin uh, uh, scan. Okay, let's put it. Now, see here. So port is open means sin, sin act, act, port is open. Sin reset, reset means port is closed. This is the way you understand port is open or closed. Sin, SYNAC reset, port is open. Sin reset means port is closed, like that. Now, uh, sin full scan if you take now. Let me write down one by one. This is your, I am sending sin, you are giving SYNAC, I am getting hack. so port is open. Sin, you get just reset, port is closed. I know that. Same way, next is, I'm going to put uh, full scan. In full scan is like this, see. Sin with port number, acknowledgement is coming, port is open, reset, right? This is half scan. Now, TCP full scan, full skin scan. Yes, this is full scan. So he is sending sin, he is getting SYNAC, then reset. Then the port is open. Port is closed means it will just give reset, it will not give any option. Okay, this is your full scan. TCP, TCP full scan. So basically what we are doing, we are sending a packet with the TCP port SYN, fact, SYN flood, SYN packet. We are just getting the reply. If you see the reply, you will understand three-way handshake is happening means port is open. If it is not happening means port is closed. That's it. This is full scan. Okay. Okay. Now just take the screenshot of this, both of this, then we will go to the lab. Uh, take a screenshot of three-way handshake, then we will do the lab. Just D. Taken screenshot. O and D. Chris done. Sudhish done. Sudhish, can we start the lab? Okay. Share your screen. Share your screen. Now we will read, I will read it, you will understand the, now the syllabus, the topic you will understand. What they are telling, trying to do it. Now we finish this uh, uh, exercise attack, let us go to next, uh, exercise 3. Next, hmm. let us read this. Network scanning 
attack helps attacker to organize the attack on the target network. Network attackers scan the target network for extracting val valuable information about the host, port number, services in the network. This enables attacker to decide on various techniques and tools to be used to perform the desired attack. As a SOC analyst, you should be aware of such network scanning attempts. If they, if detected at the early stage, it will be helpless to prevent from future attacks. In this lab, we will be learn example of how an attacker runs in various network scan attempts to find open ports and services running on the target and how the how the generated IOC will help detect the uh, network scanning attempts in the later module of this course. This lab will demonstrate the following network scan attempts to find open ports and services running on the target. Now our goal is what? To just run the, as attacker run these uh, tools and see that what are the ports are open in the, sir, what are the ports are open, ports and services are in the victim machine. So we are going to follow three, three methods like three types, scene scan, scene full, uh, full connect scan, then UDP scan. Let's start one by one. For 2012, let's log into 2012. Control all delete. Yeah, we already we already there. Yeah, no, no, just cancel, cancel. Yeah. Two, you go. Two done. Let's go to three. Three done. Four, four calling. So attacker is Kali again. Victim is Windows 12. Okay, space bar. Press space bar. Click inside the Kali. Press space bar. Hmm. Tour. Next go to. Done. Now we are going to do the attack. So to find the exploitable vulnerability on the target Windows server. So our target machine is Windows Server 2012 server. To perform this attack, we have to demonstrate this open a terminal. So left side, uh, second one you click, terminal. Yeah, that one, correct. Now type uh, sin, uh, sorry, nmap. nmap is the tool name. nmap, hyphen small s, yes, capital S. Hyphen small s is sin, capital S is scan, sin scan. Then the target is 10.10.10.12. You know 10.10.12 is nothing but our So we've got all the open ports and services. That's it. <coughs> Since can get the information from the remote without completing complete the TCP handshake. Mm. This is half scan actually. Mm. This display the output since can giving the states of states services running on the target. So you came to know that these are the ports are open and these are the uh, services are running in the Windows 2012 server. Very good. Let's do another scan. Uh, that is uh, full scan, three steps, three way handshake, full three way handshake. So the command is apparo key. Use apparo key. Yeah, just remove SS and put ST. Use uh, left arrow key. Yeah, backspace. Small st, small st, capital T, small s, yes, okay, space, hyphen ta4, enter, enter, okay, now what we did is we just run one algorithm, another method, and in this method also we are able to see the same uh, open ports and services, that's it. Next, uh, this is TCP full scan, which run the all three-way handshake and give the result. Next, uh, UDP scan. UDP scan type nmap uh, hyphen small s capital U apparo key T5. Yes, small s scan UDP team U means UDP T5 means timing timing it's basically T means timing different different timings are there 
how much time the scan will happen timing template 5 5 okay run that see output is coming next 12 is done let's go to 13 this displays the output of the user now UDP also UDP ports so what are the UDP ports are open to showing you very good done let's go to close all the open windows that's it we have finished the scan part so basically this is basically we are going to use the scan when you are working in real time the firewalls will be there so you have to know that how to bypass the firewall that's it this is your lab this is your lab number let me uh, can stop sharing uh, uh, thank you uh, Sudhis stop sharing this is lab number hmm. lab number four so just start doing this lab let me know who are all completed okay So now who are all doing let me know who are all completed they can leave for the day so this you can leave for the day thank you Sudhis we'll see you tomorrow so Sudhis done so this can leave for the day who are all doing they can do it uh, now otherwise um, you can just say that okay Sohan done Sohan thank you Sohan you can leave for the day anybody else is doing Basil Basil done thank you Basil can see tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Anybody else? Anjita. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Sadis. Anjita. Okay. So this all done. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Sneha is doing. Thank you, Sneha. You can leave for the day. Anwar done. Anwar all done. Okay, very good. Hmm. Christopher all done. Thank you, Christopher. Okay, thank you, Sneha. Anybody else is doing? Anybody has any doubts? You can ask me. <clears throat> so basically, today we studied uh, more on uh, this one. What do you say? Attacks as well as uh, these things. A network attacks. So tomorrow we'll discuss on more on the other next attacks. Next attack is. Uh, Oh, brute force attack. Very good. We'll discuss on that tomorrow. Tomorrow more. we'll begin with brute force attacks. I'll explain you what is brute force attack. <clears throat> then we'll go to the deep dive on that. The last one is uh, Wireshark. Nice. Now we are going to analyze the IOCs. So these two labs will tomorrow will be interesting. We'll discuss about brute force attack. Then we'll discuss about the all the other attacks. Uh, what is IOCs? Different different IOCs. So how do you identify the IOCs? Okay. With the with the it's done. Okay, thank you, Fida. See you tomorrow. Al Abhijit. All done. Very care, Abhijit. Thank you. Anybody still doing?
So whoever is doing, nobody is doing, right? Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow then. Thanks. If you need tomorrow, we'll update. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Ajmal done. Okay, Ajmal, I'll update. Okay. Fine, updated. If anybody else, tomorrow we can also finish it today. Tomorrow you let me update me. Okay. I'll update tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good night.